this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Mystic Quest! Let's go check out Max Ship and kill some of the exact same enemies we've fought before. Yeah, all the enemies here, they're exactly the same at Pazuzu's Tower, so I'm not going to demonstrate any battles here. Let's just get through this area, find Captain Mac, and watch the ending. Yeah, for those of you playing along, you're learning about Ruben. He sucks pretty hard in this area. I would not blame you at all if you wanted to abuse the life, or instant death spell, as life, because really, Ruben doesn't have a whole lot to offer in this area, I'm afraid. I don't know how Kaylee got stronger, yet Ruben got weaker after sitting on his ass for so long. I guess uh, Ruben didn't take lessons from Gohan. But anyway, grab this treasure, and then fall down here! Yeah, we're kind of trapped here for a moment, so, uh, you know, I'm just going to clear all the enemies here off screen, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I cleared out all the enemies here, so let's get all the treasure around here. You can meet up with those shadows that I met up with earlier, uh, when I was picking up that arrow spell, but, uh, yeah, there's, I mean, nothing new around here. I was just kind of surprised to see them around here. I didn't know you could meet up with them here, but, well, there you go. But yeah, like I said, this is pretty much, well, sort of a dead end. I mean, you won't get to the end from here. You have to, well, you have to go somewhere else in order to move on with the area. Which kind of reminds me of the Phantom Ship in uh, Dragon Warrior 3. Oh, so I killed all these enemies basically for the experience, mostly for nothing. So, yeah, yeah, pretty much. You go up there, that is a dead end. There's nothing in the rooms up there, no treasures or, or anything like that, so... Well, okay, I guess I just wasted a minute of your life then, viewers. Well, I've wasted a whole lot more than that, but even more than now. So, okay, well, let's get out of here. Uh, you didn't have to fall down that pit there. I actually wasn't quite planning on it, but eh, whatever. You have to walk back around here in order to get up here. Yeah, pretty much. I just want to, uh, I just want to get through this area. There's no real puzzles or anything like that. It's not a real long area or anything like that. Just get through it and move along with this life. The Dragon Claw can actually be pretty effective against a lot of the enemies here. Okay, uh, let's uh, take care of all these idiots down here and be right back. You know, I kind of like how, uh, you know, they use the uh, Bone Dungeon music over here. This was the same music there as it was there, right? But it's like, you know, getting towards the end of the game and they reuse that like that. You know, Usually I don't like it when they reuse dungeon music, but here it's pretty cool. I like that. So now let's actually get to where we need to go. Uh, let's see, I think there's a, yeah, there's a guy up here. One thing you could do with the white spell that Ruben has is have him use it when there's only two enemies left because he can prop, Benjamin will kill one and Ruben's going to be always slower than him. Now this part tripped me up the first time I played the game. I had to use the strategy guide in order to figure out, where do we go now? Well, let's grab this chest first. There's nowhere else to go. We gotta go up here! Yeah! You didn't see that one coming, did you, viewers? Then you gotta walk up here and get all the way over here. Yeah, they don't tell you that you can climb these masts here. Admit it, viewers, you couldn't figure that out on your own, too. What do you mean I was the only one who couldn't figure that out when I was a kid? How was I supposed to know? Would have been nice if they put those little dimples on the poles like they did with the walls that you could use the claw on. Yeah, one thing you gotta be careful for, there's a, when I killed one of the enemies, it revealed a secret pitfall. So, yeah, you don't wanna fall down there. So, but anyway, I think that's almost all the enemies around here. You gotta be getting close. Is this it? Hey, hey, victory music! Yay, happy music! And the guy is armor. Well, what do we need that for? Well, it gives us protection from uh, air elemental attacks. Oh, I didn't know we could get protection from that. And some other status ailments. All right. Aren't we already protected from poison? Yeah, but now we're protected from sleep. That would have been nice to have in this area, but oh well. So, uh, hey, how's it going? Well, all right. We found Captain Mac and saved the four crystals and that's it. Game's over. Let's watch the credits roll. We got the victory music. What do you mean? You're not going to tell us, are you? What Dark King? The old, the old guy didn't tell us about that. Yeah, well, 
We'll worry about that for the next game. But, but I need to be ominous. What's going on? Well, gee, you think? You gained seven levels, or eight levels, however many you gain, and you end up being weaker than you were before. Um, okay. Well, I guess we need an excuse to uh, have rockin' music. Yeah, someone was saying, eat she Bailey. You could run into these guys back at Fireburg, but uh, yeah, they don't really say much interesting. So, yeah, where is she? Oh, well, how'd she get over here? Oh, yeah, well, we did kind of unlock all the doors for her. So, you just came here to deliver a message? Well, you could have just assumed that news was going to travel faster than you did, but... Oh, okay. Huh, I'm surprised those chests, uh... Or that brown chest, uh, stayed open there. Usually when you open one of those chests, they respawn after... Or they get their contents refilled after you leave the area or something. Yeah, can you, uh, help the poor guy out? You're a wizard, aren't you? How about we get all the party members together? Man, that would have been so cool if they did that, but, uh... No, no. <laughs> I like how he's kind of moving around, kind of like uh, Sid or one of his helpers in Final Fantasy IV. Well, what do you mean? More party members! Yay! So, uh, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Oh, oh fair enough. What would, what would be a, what would a seafarer or a pirate, or whatever he is. What would he be doing in a place called Foresta? What's going on? Oh, something the old guy didn't know about, huh? Nuts. Oh, so there's a bad guy, and the real bad guy. Just like the truth, and the truth. So, yeah, we have to deal with the truth. So, okay, so yeah, basically we gotta go back to the ship and take it over to Focus Tower, just like, uh, what is it? just like he said. So let's, uh, rest up here. Oh, and Phoebe is stronger than ever before. Yeah, I've gotta take a look at what she's got. Uh, let's see, she's got, uh, does she always have that shield? Well, if she did, she does now. She doesn't have protection from Petrify, unfortunately, so we're still kind of vulnerable like that. But, uh, yeah, she's got new stuff there. She's got new spells. She's got pretty much all the spells that I really care about, so that's pretty nice. Kind of would have been nice to have Arrow, but oh well. But, yeah, yeah, and she, she's got a uh, lot, lot of strength. Well, not as much as that. Actually, her weapon's even weaker than everything I got. But at least we got some, some sort of projectile weapon to deal with those kind of enemies. So, there we go. Oh, I wonder if Otto says anything interesting. Yeah, I got a little bit of extra time. Why not? Hey, how's it going? Oh, no, no, they don't say anything new. Okay, well, that's everything here, so let's head on over to the Focus Tower, then. Nothing shall stand in my way this time. They couldn't have come up with a more original name for the real bad guy than the Dark King. I mean, you might as well have called him... The Dark One, or something, I don't know. But anyway, how am I doing on seeds? Yeah, we got plenty of seeds. You want to uh, uh, have at least 20 seeds because this area is long. Longer than any other area that we've been to before. So yeah, you just get on to the steering wheel there and it takes you all the way over here. Yeah, remember when Ruben said he fell down and he saw a little entrance here? Well, here it is. Where does this one take us to? Um, oh, take us to the Focus Tower. And Doom Castle! Yeah, kick-ass music! Where we'll be exploring next time! And let's play Final Fantasy Mystic Quest! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!